everybody, it's Amy from the Run, Eat, Drink podcast at runeatdrink.net. Welcome to beautiful Key West, Florida and home of the southernmost half marathon, the race we're running this morning. Let's see some beautiful parts of Key West. That was the start. That was the start. Did you hear the air horn? That was the start. Now we're making our way to cross the start line officially. There's a breeze coming off the water, which we are super thankful for because it's something like 86 degrees and humid. But the view is beautiful. So far, the rain. The run, I have had one mile as warm up. And now I've started to do some intervals. Beautiful scenery. Some of the parts of the course have been really dark here early in the morning. We started at uh, 10 till 6. And boy, could we have used those Night Runner shoe lights from Night Tech gear. So now we're going to move on to mile 5. Sunrise over the water was beautiful. After being in the dark for a little while early on, and then we came off the water, and now we're here by the highway, and we've seen some full marathoners. That's this is where our, our paths kind of intersect, and the turnaround for both races was together at the same point. The people at the water stops have been so friendly. It is hot, it is humid, but when we get near the water, there's a breeze, so that's really nice. People are friendly, they encourage each other here. Hey, this has been a lifesaver. John Ford here. The Squoosh Band is great. Genius. Genius. Well, that is 13.1 miles at the southernmost half marathon here in Keep West. And check out this bling. It is very appropriate for us now that we're headed to explore and indulge in Key West. We'll bring you that a little bit later. Great course, great people. Very humid and hot, so always watch yourself there and bring some shoe lights. Now that we have run, walked, crawled, made it through the 13.1 of the southernmost half marathon here in Key West today, it was so hot and so humid. We decided the best way to celebrate was to get out here and enjoy some of the local food and drink. This is 
exploring and indulging because, let me just tell you, that race, whoo, that took a lot out of me. I don't, I was done with that humidity and the temperature, so we decided to come to DJ's Clam Shack. Now, you might have seen this place on diners, drive-ins, and dives, and yes, we just came from Louisville, and we just had a fabulous meal at Guy's Smokehouse there. So, when we were looking around, and we wanted some authentic seafood, we decided Uh, motorcycles coming through Duval Street because this place is situated right on Duval Street. Right on Duval. In fact, we're sitting like right here at the at the bar, and then this is Duval. It's great for people watching. Oh yeah. I think it's great people watching. We're also or that. So, and, and just so people know, we've known about DJs for years because yes. uh, he featured them. In fact, it's on the board right back there in 2014. We've been coming to the Keys for years. Um, but we're glad that he gave him some attention. Yeah. And you're having a local beer, it oh. would appear. Well, you know, Isla Mirada Beer Company. Isla Mirada is on the way down here to Key West. And I'm having Sandbar Sunday, which they liken to a Blue Moon-esque type beer. So it's an American Wheat Ale. Mm -hmm. It's an American Wheat Ale. We love Wheat Ale. They're not too hoppy. Not, there's no bitterness. It's not a, a barrel aged smokiness. It's just, it's, it's great for a hot Florida day. Easy drinking, low ABD. Mm. And a lot of the beer that the Isla Mirada Beer Company makes quite good, quite sessionable. In fact, we may have visited them on the way down and we might have a quick bite from them coming soon. So, be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. So, cheers to our uh, half marathon completion, our training run this morning. Yeah. So, let's. What did you get from DJs here? Oh, I got Kong Fritters. I'm a big Kong Fritters fan. And it looks like there's some mustard and uh, mustard sauce and some lemon, and some fries alongside. So break one of those open. Let's show everybody. Yeah, this, they the, said they were really hot. So yeah, they actually instructed us to give it a minute. So we did give it a minute, but they're still like really hot. Shows how fresh they are. Looks like you got some pepper, some bell pepper in here. I don't. That looks like carrot to me. Does that look mm -hmm. like carrot to you? really crisp and crunchy outside and it's really tender on the inside. So I'm going to try it without any of the sauce or lemon first. Mm. You get that conch flavor. And it's not overly bready. Seafood taste is there, you know. Crispy texture on the outside, tender. The peppers. Oh well. We're watching all of the life here in Duval. Well, the peppers still have a crunch to them. That's good. Which is great. So. Talk, talk about that sauce, what they what no. that they gave you there. Let's see about this sauce. It's a honey mustard. Honey mustard's a pretty traditional side with conch fritters. Yeah. So I and think for those that don't know what a conch is, that's the like when you see oh. the big seashell. Uh, in fact, they've got one up on the bar. Uh, I'll get a shot of that and you can cut away to it. But there's the animal that lives inside of that. There's a big chunk of meat and 
clean it, cook it, make fritters out of it. You sound like you have experience from childhood. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. So, yeah. Being a native Floridian and fishing being one of my favorites. You seem to be pleased with this. Right. It's so fresh. And the honey mustard just brings out the flavors. Adds a, a touch of sweetness and a touch of tart. So, I think the conch fritters are great. And you should try them. Although, now, DJ's Clam Shack is known for clams. It is. Yeah. So. And that might be why I ordered the clam strips basket. Yes. Ooh, sorry about that fork. It's like jumping right out at you. Well, like 3D there. Here. Is that better? So, do you want to try them for our viewers? I can do that. If you're new to seafood or if you have a, a, a rather unadventurous palate, a lot of times clam strips are looked at as kind of a really good entry into seafood. Uh -huh. um, if they're done right, they're tender. If they're done wrong, it's like eating a deep fried rubber band. Oh, so, chewy. Uh, here it's, uh, it's served on a bed of french fries, a side of tartar sauce, and a lemon wedge. Again, very traditional, very Florida. So let's see how this goes here. The fact that it didn't pull out of the breading when I did that, and it's just melting your mouth tender. These guys have cooked a clam or two, so um, you can taste the clam. The breading is nice and crispy. The clam is, is buttery and melts in your mouth. Not fishy. Big warning, if you're eating fish or seafood of any kind and it tastes fishy, you might have a bad night later on. Um, your fish shouldn't taste really, really fishy. And that's, that goes for sushi even. Um, and the same goes especially for shellfish. And a little touch of tartar. This yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. Um, not a bad way to celebrate completing the race. Not at all. And then again, a lot of people love a little squirt of lemon, so hit that with the lemon. If you're looking to come to Key West, do Wall Street is a must do. You absolutely should stop by here at DJ's. DJ's is right in the heart of Duval. You hop in here, grab a basket, split it, share it, or you know, have a meal here even. And uh, this will keep you going for the rest of your Duval crawl that you might be doing. So, uh, fantastic, good choices. Well, that does it for our trip to the southernmost half marathon in beautiful Key West, Florida. We showed you some fantastic sights throughout the course of the southernmost half, and it was a really generous time limit of six hours. So it's a great one for anyone wanting to run their first half without any pressure. And then we went to Duval Street and showed you some delicious food from DJ's Clam Shack, as well as local beer from Isla Mirada Beer Company. So you know a little bit about where to accomplish, explore, and indulge right along with us should you come to Key West. Hit us up on Facebook and Instagram at Run, Eat, Drink Podcast or on Twitter at Run, Eat, Drink Pod. Tell us where you're accomplishing, exploring, and indulging so we can come to you. We'll see you next time.